Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Coding Interview Must Know series. Today, we're looking at Spiral Matrix 2, where you generate an entire square matrix in a spiral order. This problem is different from the regular spiral matrix. In the regular version, the matrix is already given, and you just read its elements in a spiral. But in Spiral Matrix 2, it's the opposite. The matrix starts out empty, and you need to fill it with numbers from 1 to n squared, following a clockwise spiral pattern. For example, if n is 4, you fill the numbers from 1 to 16. You start at the top left corner, move to the right, then go down, then to the left, and then up, spiraling inward until every cell is filled. The most common and recommended solution is the shrinking boundaries method. Let's walk through a 5x5 five five example. We keep four boundaries, top, bottom, left, and right. Our current number, num, starts at 1. First, we fill the top row from left to right with 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, then move the top boundary down by 1. Next, we fill the right column from top to bottom with 6, 7, 8, and 9, then move the right boundary left by 1. After that, we fill the bottom row from right to left with 10, 11, 12, and 13, then move the bottom boundary up by 1. Finally, we fill the left column from bottom to top with 14, 15, and 16, then move the left boundary right by 1. After completing this outer layer, a 3x3 three three inner square remains. We repeat the exact same steps, continuing the spiral until the entire matrix is filled. Now let's look at how to implement this in Python. We start by creating an n by n matrix, and we set up a counter num beginning at 1. Then we define the four boundaries, top, bottom, left, and right. As long as top is less than or equal to bottom, and left is less than or equal to right, we keep filling in the spiral. First, we fill the top row from left to right, incrementing num each time. Then we increase top by 1. Next, we fill the right column from top to bottom, and then decrease right by 1. Then, if top is still less than or equal to bottom, we fill the bottom row from right to left, and decrease bottom by 1. And finally, if left is still less than or equal to right, we fill the left column from bottom to top, and increase left by 1. Once the loop ends, the matrix has been completely filled in spiral order, and we simply return it. This method runs in on squared time, because we fill exactly n squared numbers. And the extra space complexity is O1, since we only use the matrix itself without any additional storage.